can ZDM be used for cross-platform migration? Can I migrate from 11G version or 12C version of database to cloud version 19C? Or is it mandatory to use object storage while using ZDM? These are some of the questions I'm going to cover in this episode of Frequently Asked Questions on ZDM. Welcome to the third part of a three-part video series on zero data time migration or ZDM to migrate your database from on-premise to Oracle Cloud. So in episode one, we looked at what is zero downtime migration is, the overview of ZDM and the capabilities of ZDM. Then in part two, we looked at eight part framework or eight steps that or eight simple steps that ZDM uses to migrate your database from on-premise to cloud. So if you have not looked at these two episodes, I highly recommend you to pause it here and look at ketoneacademy.com forward slash ZDM01 for first part and ketoneacademy.com forward slash ZDM02 for the second part. So now let's look at uh, some of the questions that were asked in the free masterclass that we had uh, with our cloud trainer Rajiv. And I'll also mention you how to, you can get hold of that free training towards end. So let's first look at uh, some of these questions. So the first question is from Iftikar. He asked, ZDM can be used for on-premise to on-premise scenario, meaning no cloud involvement. So he was trying to ask, can we use ZDM is primarily for migrating databases from on-premise to Oracle Cloud, that be basically in OCI, where the database could be in virtual machine DB system or bare metal DB system or Accelerator Cloud service. You can also use it to migrate from OCI Classic, which is the older generation one, to the OCI. Or you can also use it from on-premise migration to Oracle Clouded Customer or Accelerator Clouded Customer. So if you're not familiar with any of these things or these deployment models, then you can have a look at k1academy.com forward slash 34, where I covered about these deployment options. So the question was, can we use it to migrate my database, but without any cloud, no cloud involvement, just from uh, one platform to another, or one operating system, one machine to another machine. So answer is no, ZDM is only used for cloud migration. So you can use it only either from going on-premise to cloud or from on-premise to Exadata clouded customer or from OCI Classic to OCI migrating databases. So next question is from A who asked, can we use a ZDM to do a cross-platform migration? And cross-platform migration is you're going from one operating system to another, like from Solaris to HP Unix or from Linux to uh, Solaris or vice versa. So in cloud, you always have an Oracle cloud. You always have Oracle Linux, your databases run. So if you have a different operating system on source or on-premise, uh, apart from Linux, then you won't be able to do that. Or ZDM doesn't support cross platform as of April 2020. So right now, the source should also be on Linux or source database should also be on Linux. Now, next question is from Deepak, which says, who asks, can you confirm if JDM can be used for migration of an on-premise DB to cloud other than Oracle Cloud? So can you use it to migrate your databases running to AWS Cloud or Azure Cloud? And answer is no. ZDM is only for migrating Oracle databases to Oracle Cloud, not on any other cloud vendor. Now, next question from Paul who said, asked, can we perform migration from 11G source to 19C target. So let's suppose you have source which is on-premise running 11G and you want to migrate to, or you want to, um, your target, you want to run on Oracle Cloud to 19C. Is it possible? Answer is no, again. So the ZDM runs on the principle of a data guard, which is on from the same version to same version. So if your source is 11G, you'll be migrating to 11G on Cloud or 19C to 19C. If you have a different platform, then I recommend you to first either upgrade on source or upgrade on target once after migration. So the next question is from Amila who asked, will this ZDM migration tool encrypt all the table spaces using TDE? I like, so just to give a brief background, TD stands for transparent data encryption. In target in Oracle cloud, all the databases are encrypted by default using TDE. And if whether your source is encrypted or not, the ZDM tool will automatically make sure or ensure that TDE is enabled or TD will be enabled on the target for you. Now, next question is again from A who asked, zero downtime migration is an extra tool and um, is it licensed? So answer is no, tool is absolutely free and is used to migrate your databases from on-premise or from OCI Classic 
to either Oracle Cloud or Oracle Clouded Customer, which is Exadata Cloud Service. Now, another question was, uh, there is no downtime when you copy. The question was, is there no downtime when you're copying your data files from source to target? And the answer is correct. Yes, there is no downtime to copy your data files. It's similar to what you do in physical standby or data guard setup where, uh, where you don't need any downtime while you're copying your databases or uh, the data files from source to backup or target. So the next question was from Iftikar who asked, is there a downtime required? And if yes, at what stage? Uh, so answer is yes, there will be downtime required for a short duration and when you're doing switch over, failover or cutover. So basically switch over is where your on-premise is primary and your cloud becomes is standby. So when you switch the role and you go from cloud becomes primary and standby or um, on-premise becomes standby, that's called a switch over. Or you say, Am I, I, I don't care about on-premise now, everything is on cloud, that's failover. So you, uh, you ignore the primary database and your standby becomes new primary. So during that time, uh, there'll be a short uh, downtime required to switch for where your database on cloud will open up and it'll, it'll take few minutes uh, or or under a minute or so to open up the database. Now, if your application has some additional steps like um, um, or if it needs to update something in database, then there might be some depending on how long that process takes. But actual cutover or actual downtime is just for a few minutes while the role changes. Now, I think his name is Dinesh. Uh, who asked what will happen if the network connection breaks for a few minutes during the process of uh, when the connection or when the ZDM is working or ZDM is happening. So if ZDM is interrupted, we can definitely uh, resume it. Oh, so another question from Iftikhar was on the similar lines, if this ZDM is interrupted, can we resume it after fixing the, uh, fixing the problem or do we need to restart from beginning? So we discussed this in uh, detail in our free training. Uh, that uh, you can get hold of by going to k2academy.com forward slash cloud dba10. There'll be a replay available. So as mentioned by Rajiv, it based on Oracle's fleet provisioning and patching framework, FEP framework, meaning you can rerun it, you can resume it, you can pause it and re return it uh, later, or you can even do dry run and a lot of other things are possible with that. So if there's any problem because of the network connection, uh, it will continue. Uh, back you don't need to start it from uh, scratch it will or start it will automatically it will come back when the network is back now next question from ramesh is zdm can convert asm file system as well as asm file system from source to target so if you have um, asm stands for automatic uh, storage management so if you have asm file system zdm will definitely take care of that now next question from priyatosh uh, who mentioned that can we migrate e-business suite? So it's like like e-business suite customer, e-business suite R12. Um, no application migration, just uh, the database to the cloud using ZDM. So answer is technically yes, because it's end of the day it's database. And as long as you have a database, technically uh, you can migrate the database uh, for EBS um, using ZDM. But e-business team has not yet supported ZDM, at least as of April 2020. So they have a different tool for migration, which is called as EBS Cloud Manager. We cover this in detail. Um, if you are an eBusiness Suite customer or if you are working on eBusiness Suite and wish to migrate, um, I highly recommend you to look at our free guide on seven things every apps DBA must read, which is k2academy.com forward slash cloud DBA 01. So in that, you can use EBS Cloud Manager, but in EBS Cloud Manager, again, as of April 2020, if you have a huge database, there'll be some time or downtime required, a longer downtime required. Now you can minimize that downtime. So whatever ZDM is doing, you can do pretty much same, but manually, we call it hybrid data guard. Now I did this um, a free session on hybrid data guard or migrating eBusiness suite using with hybrid data guard with minimal downtime. And we recorded this session. Again, you can check it out at k2academy.com forward slash EBS cloud 10 for on how to migrate eBusiness suite with almost zero downtime using hybrid data guard. Now, next question is from Paul who mentioned, can we practice a ZDM on the free Oracle cloud account? So Oracle gives you a free account cloud account for practice. If you're not aware, if you want a step-by-step -step guide on how to register for that free trial account, you get, I think, $200 credit, which you can use over the next 30 days to practice and see. So if you have not yet created a cloud account, trial account, I highly recommend you again to go and look at um, k2nacadby.com forward slash cloud 01 
you will get a step-by-step -step guide on video so use that on to create a trial, trial account and answer is yes absolutely you can create you can practice this in using the trial account so create an account and practice now all you need to take care of is i think two things one is network connectivity uh, which probably you will be needing um, the connectivity using depending on how you want to set up there are different ways to set up so connectivity should be there also the bandwidth you need a good bandwidth to so that your data can be copied or your entire database can be copied from on-premise which is your machine to cloud now next question is from rahul and i know we have um, if your question is not being covered and if you have any further question leave a comment uh, on to me and i'll make sure that i'll answer that question um, later so next question is from rahul who asked can we use zdm to migrate from older version to new version uh, on an on-premise to accelerator machine or on the similar lines uh, Rama, ramanath was asking can we use this uh, to upgrade your dv from 11g to 12c including D, uh, schema mic schema or data migration uh, from older version to an, a newer version and answers no zdm is only for migration linux to linux and uh, you can't use upgrade it needs to be same version like 11g to 11g or 12c to 12c and so on now next question is from ramesh who asked can we consider zdm as a data pump and no ZD, data pump is totally different than zdm data pump uses logical backup and restore which is export import whereas zdm is based on hybrid data guard or data guard which is physical standby databases now another question from ramanath is can ZDM be installed on Red Hat Linux? I think in the training which we had, free session we had, we mentioned that it needs to be Oracle Linux 7 plus, but you can also use Red Hat. So answer is yes, you can use Red Hat Linux, which is compatible with Oracle Linux, but as long as it's version seven uh, or higher. So I think instead of OEM, it should have been OEL, which is Oracle Enterprise Linux or Red Hat Linux. So the next question is from Syed who asked, what is the difference between migration with data guard and migration with ZDM. So Z data guard, so ZDM is uh, conceptually both are same. Uh, the ZDM behind the scene is using data guard, which is a physical standby using physical standby method. Now, what ZDM gives you extra is the additional checks, which is all everything you're doing manually in a data guard. Uh, ZDM automates all that process and it involves or uses Oracle's fleet provisioning and patching, as I said earlier, so that you can do some additional things in using ZDM. So I'll, I always, if you have to do it manually, uh, you um, instead of that, I would prefer to do ZDM. Now, so the next question is from Mangesh, who said, so does ZDM auto create a standby? And is it a physical standby or a logical standby? So answer is yes. So you only should have the primary and you tell where the destination or the target is going to be. So ZDM will automatically instantiate or create a standby database for you from your on-premise database. And it creates a physical standby. So you don't need to have a standby or another database ready on the cloud. ZDM is going to create that database for you. Now there are a few other questions related to platform and prerequisite and which one was from Karthik. So who asked, are there any limitations on the table space or any prerequisite in the cloud in terms of platform mismatch between source and target? So answer is yes, there are some prerequisite and there are some limitations. So make sure you read ZDM documentation carefully beforehand. The source and target should be platform compatible. And because since it's Linux on cloud, your source should also be on Linux. But again, if you're part of a training, we have a step-by-step -step hands on guide to cover including all the prerequisites. So the next question is from Naresh who asked if the source is Microsoft SQL Server is zero downtime still applicable? So um, as we said earlier, as Rajiv mentioned in the class as well, uh, that ZDM is only for Oracle databases where source is Oracle and target is Oracle. If your source is different or target is different, like source in this case is Microsoft SQL Server, or you want to migrate to other platform that process is not applicable or ZDM is not applicable. You can use other tools like Oracle Golden Gate. If it's a non-Oracle database, you want to migrate from Oracle to another database or from other database to Oracle database, then you can use Oracle Golden Gate. If it's Oracle only database, but to other cloud, then you, you can use other migration methods as we covered in the 
free class. Now, how you can get hold of that free class? ketoneacademy.com forward slash cloud DBA 10. They'll cover things like uh, RMAN backup and restore, uh, the physical standby databases, logical backup, like uh, export import, um, exp DP, import DP, or transportable table spaces, or your plug and plug if it's 12C databases. Now, next question was again uh, asked by a couple of um, uh, attendees. One was PN Reddy or Sanjeev, uh, who mentioned that can ZDM do the cross platform integration or migration? I think being asked in past as well, a couple of other uh, attendees. So, answer is no. ZDM is only currently as of April 2020. Uh, ZDM is only for Linux to Linux on Oracle Cloud. So, source should be Linux, and on Oracle Cloud, we already have Linux. Now, a couple of questions were related to installation and configuration. So I think uh, one question was, where do we install ZDM? Can we install it on the database machine? And um, is, is, does it need to be in a source database server or in a separate machine? Now, first of all, Oracle's recommendation is to install ZDM on a separate machine than your database. Technically, you can install it on the same machine where a database is running, but it's recommended on a separate machine so that if there's any problem, your ZDM um, or ZDM should not will not impact in that scenario or you don't want ZDM impacting or doing anything for your grid infrastructure or the database. So make sure you deploy or create a dedicated Linux 7 or higher uh, operating system or Linux 7 or higher version on a separate database machine or separate on a separate machine than your database host. Now, next question was again, do you have to create any schema, custom schema or user on the target database for ZDM? And answer is no, there's no separate schema requirement. There's no, um, no need to do any other extra work. Uh, the connectivity will use SSH connectivity using SSH password keys or SSH uh, keys. And it will also use TD, which is a transparent, transparent database uh, data encryption. Now, process is more or less similar to what you do in physical standby or the data guard configuration. So in data guard configuration also, you don't create any additional users and same here in with ZDM. Then your, another question was, what could be the risk of migrating your production environment through ZDM? And technically, like any other software, uh, you might hit some bugs or issues. So hence, a proper testing is required for before you migrate. So make sure you thorough do a thorough testing. Otherwise, I don't see any problem. Now, there might be some bugs depending on uh, how critical or how uh, complex your environment is, but it supports a rack and it supports um, Oracle's maximum availability architecture a model ZDM. So you should be fairly good. Oracle is very active in terms of if you hit any problem, you raise the support with Oracle team, Oracle support team, and they should be able to pick up very quickly. Now, there were a lot of questions, but we picked up a handful of them. So one, the final question is, um, when the ZDM is being used, it connects, it's copy the data into the object storage, which is a bucket on uh, Oracle Cloud or um, object storage inside a bucket. Now the question was from PN Ready was, is it mandatory to have object storage? And answer is, if you're migrating to Oracle Cloud, which is OCI, wh whether it's a VM DB system, bare metal DB system, or Exadata DB system, in such scenario, you will need uh, to mic you will the data will be copied via the object storage. However, if you're migrating to the Exadata clouded customer, which is in customer premises, you do the whole concept of clouded customer is that you don't want your to let your data go out onto uh, outside your data center in such scenario instead of using object storage you'll be you could you'll be using either a local nfs server or you can use a another appliance um, from oracle which is called as zero data loss recovery appliance or zdlra so if you're already using it you use that otherwise i will recommend you to use nfs um, local nfs server uh, to copy the interim um, database or a local storage. So with that, these are some of the questions. As I said, if your question was not covered here or is not there, make sure you leave a comment. And um, if you want to go into what we covered in the free, cl free class, it's a 90 minute class. You can attend the replay with our cloud instructor, Rajiv, where we discussed and looked at everything you need to know in terms of ZDM or zero downtime migration. So the URL is ketoneacademy.com forward slash cloud DBA 10. With that, Atul from Team Keto Academy, thanks for listening to this. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you liked it, don't forget to share it with your friends. I'll see you in the next video next week. Till then, take care.